Hey guys! This is Cartoon Recapped. Today we'll show you a 2004 family comedy cartoon called Shark Tale. Be aware of heavy spoilers. Sit back and enjoy the show. In the South Side Reef, a lowly blue streak cleaner wrasse named Oscar, who, in his childhood, dreamed to be a tongue scrubber at the whale wash, like his late father Earl until his classmates cruelly mocked him for it, fantasizes about being rich and famous, but owes money to his boss and the whale wash's owner, a pufferfish named Sykes. His best friend, an angelfish named Angie, offers him a pearl that was a gift from her grandmother to pawn and pay his debt. Meanwhile, Don Lino, the boss of a mob gang of sharks, orcas, swordfish, and octopuses, which Sykes works for, dislikes that his son Lenny is a vegetarian and orders his eldest son, Frankie, to mentor Lenny. Oscar brings the money from the Pearl to a seahorse race to meet Sykes, but hears that the race is rigged and bets it all on a seahorse named Lucky Day. A lionfish gold digger named Lola sees this and flagrantly seduces Oscar. Sykes is annoyed that Oscar bet the money, but he hopes that Oscar might win. Lucky Day, which revealed that the race was rigged against him, eventually takes the lead, only to trip and lose short of the finish line. Sykes loses his temper and orders his two Jamaican jellyfish enforcers, Ernie and Bernie, to deal with Oscar. While the two Shaka tied up Oscar, Frankie sees them and urges Lenny to eat Oscar, but Lenny instead frees Oscar and tells him to escape. Furious and fed up with his brother's tenderness, Frankie charges at Oscar, but suddenly an anchor from above the surface falls on his neck, killing him. Devastated and blaming himself for his brother's demise, Lenny leaves. With no other witnesses, Oscar takes credit for killing Frankie and quickly rises in fame as the shark slayer. Sykes becomes Oscar's manager and forgives his debt, and Oscar moves to the top of the reef to live in luxury. At the same time, Lino has everyone search for Lenny and the shark slayer. Oscar encounters Lenny who, aware of Oscar's lie, begs Oscar to let him stay at his place to avoid returning to his father. Angie soon finds out about Oscar's lie and threatens to tell everyone, but he and Lenny convince her to be quiet. The next day, Oscar and Lenny stage a battle involving Oscar fighting off Lenny, thus cementing Oscar's popularity and making the sharks believe that Lenny has been killed too, infuriating Lino. Lola kisses Oscar on camera, making Angie jealous. That night, as Lenny disguises himself for his new life as a dolphin, Oscar and Angie get into a heated argument, where she reveals that she had feelings for Oscar even before he became the shark slayer. A remorseful Oscar sadly reflects on his selfishness and dumps Lola, who beats him up in anger. Oscar buys some gifts for Angie, only to discover that Lino has kidnapped her to stage a meeting, which Lola is also attending in revenge for being dumped. Lino threatens to eat Angie if Oscar does not surrender, but Lenny eats Angie to save her. He soon regurgitates her, and Lino realizes that Dolphin is Lenny. Enraged, Lino chases Oscar through the reef. Oscar flees to the whale wash, accidentally trapping Lenny in the machinery before also trapping Lino. Everyone cheers for Oscar, but he finally confesses the truth behind Frankie's death while urging Lino to respect Lenny's lifestyle. Lino reconciles with Lenny and accepts him, and states that he and his gang bear the city no ill will. Oscar forsakes all the wealth he has acquired, becomes co-owner of the whale wash, which is now frequented by the gang members, and reconciles with and begins a romantic relationship with Angie. In a mid credit scene, Lola arrives at the penthouse to apologize to Oscar, only to encounter a deranged hermit crab named Crazy Joe instead, which is karma for her actions. Thanks for watching.
Hope you all enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.